Hello everyone, so I just thought I'd uh, film this in the car here just because I really wanted to say something about um, some of the feelings that I have about the visit that I did to a factory farm with a VFC recently and uh, like I just wanted to sort of express how hard it is for an animal rights activist to go into a farm like that and see so many suffering animals and not be able to help them. I just want to give you a little bit of insight, like, as to, like, you might just say, well, why don't you just take them out the farm? Well, I just want to, I just want to, like, if I could have taken all of those animals out of that farm and helped them, I, of course I would. It's just not that simple, like... So it's it's 2 a.m. It's a 30-minute walk from the park where we parked to the farm, and it's freezing cold, okay, just to give you an idea. <clears throat> when we go inside the shed, there everywhere you walk, there's another suffering bird, and they're on their last breath nearly, and they're face down, and they're breathing heavily, hyperventilating, and their eyes are shut, and they're about to die. Now, I wanted to pull a bird out of there. I didn't have a pet carrier. Um, I was afraid that if I pulled the, a bird out of there, they would suffer in the cold on the way back to the car. So I couldn't, I didn't want to put the, the animal through that suffering and they wouldn't make it, they probably wouldn't make it to the car. And it's 3 a.m. and where was a vet near us? And where was a sanctuary near us? You know, it's just, I didn't expect there to be so many dying birds on the floor, I mean, uh, it's just, it was a f really difficult situation and I, uh, you can't, I just don't, you can't help but, you can't help it but like feel like you didn't do what you could have when you leave and like there's nothing harder than that type of feeling that feeling of like could i have done something else to help while i was in there and all i could do is just plead with the public please stop doing this to them please you know all i could do was just offer some type of comfort to the bird on the floor but there were so many there were so many who'd recently died who were dying who who were just limping around suffering. It was just, it's just overwhelming. What do you do in that situation, you know? And it's uh, just a tough one. And I still think about it now and um, still think about that bird that I was comforting on the floor and uh, I'm trying to fight back tears and there's cameras rolling as well. So I have to like advocate for the public to change, you know, while I'm trying to deal with everything inside that shed myself and um yeah it's a it's a very overwhelming saddening um frustrating situation and having that type of weight on your shoulders like f feeling like what what can I do to stop this right now it's very pressurizing, like, and it's very, like, I don't, I don't think any one activist should take that entire weight on their shoulders, which is great that we have a movement, but it's really hard to expect someone who cares deeply not to take that weight, you know, of the entire system of animal agriculture. I mean, it's just like, where do you start? Where do you start? Like, in one of the pig sheds? One of the chicken sheds? What about the fish farms, the testing labs, you know, horse racing tracks? Like, there's so there's so much exploitation and suffering and murder that it's just like, what do I, where do I begin and what do I do? But um, yeah, I just thought I would share that with you. Like, just uploading a video where I. 
you know, it was a powerful video and I'm very grateful that we did that video. It's just I couldn't help but feel regrets, like, you know, that I didn't do enough while I was there. And But it's just a t it was just a tough situation. I did my best and plead with the public, but, um, you know, you live with these types of things as an activist, you know, always thinking, did I... Did I do enough? Have I done enough? Can I, am I, you know, am I making enough of an impact? And I'm always very self-critical and very, I can't, every single day I put myself under enormous amounts of uh, pressure to try to, uh, to do something. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a bunch of activists out there who feel the same, a bunch of vegans who feel the same. Which, um, but yeah, I just, uh, want to make this video just to remember those birds um suffering on the shed floor and uh the ones i couldn't help and the ones that are loaded up onto a truck now terrified little babies who will be executed and then devoured by a human who is completely ignorant to the suffering they went through and uh i um Again, I had to plead with people not to support these industries. Um, I, r I rarely find a human being that I think would be okay with supporting the things that I've seen. And that's why I try to talk to them like, look, look I, I can see that you're not that type of person. There's, there's not that many people out there. There's some cold people, there's some people who like to be ignorant, who, but not people who are deliberately cruel. There are, the, there, there are not that many people who are deliberately cruel. Um, so um, they're the people that I want to want to just like plead with and just say, look, p please stop supporting this stuff. Like, help us out, help us help the animals, um, and help us end this horrible nightmare.